Hello, welcome to PCPing.com. My name is Arun Nair. In this video, I'm going to show you how to rename multiple photos to reflect their date taken on their file names. Now, I'm going to use a tool called Bulk Rename Ut Utility. I can download that by going to bulkrenameutility.co.uk and uh, there are two versions, the 32-bit and 64-bit. Download and install the appropriate version. I have already installed it, so when I go into you know any folder select multiple files and right click I can see this option called bulk rename here so I click bulk rename here and I see all the photos I basically want to add the date taken of each of these photos to the file names so that's what I'm going to show you here if you go into this utility if you scroll to the right you should see the date taken if you do not see this sometimes you may end up to see this blank if you see this blank just make sure you go to options extract and ensure that XF data is selected and then push the FI key uh, to refresh this page and then you will see the taken original appears now I'm going to select all the files by pushing control A to add the date taken what I'm going to do is under auto date select mode as suffix so that date is added as a suffix now you, you can see that the new name uh, shows up here. It's still not renamed, but it's just showing how it would look like. Uh, the type is selected as creation date. I don't want the creation date. I want the I want the date taken. So I select date taken, and you can see it, it appears here. But there is no space in between the file name and the date taken. So I want to add a separator between the actual file name and the date. So I go to this add section and add an underscore as a separator now you can see that it is separated so the date is in the format you know date month and year I want to change that into year month and date so I go to format and select YMD now it shows 2014 April to uh, April 14th I want to show this 14 as 2014 so I will select Cent, which stands for century, and now it shows 2014-04-14, which is 2014 April 14. All right, so that is it. Now you can go ahead and click rename, and it'll say 182 files and folders are about to be processed. Uh, if you want to go ahead, click OK. So I click OK. It has renamed. Now if I go into this folder, you can see that the date taken has been added. So here it's 2014. April 14th and uh, I see that there are some files which were taken on 13th April and you know it's changed change accordingly so I hope you like this video uh, thank you for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel